Hey guys and gals, welcome to another episode of the Multifamily Minute here in Kansas City, where we want to hear about your 1031 exchanges, as well as being aggressive as a buyer here in the Kansas City uh, multifamily investment space. As we do every single week, we've got up uh, LoopNet, which powers what we've got going on in the commercial real estate space, meaning stuff that's over five, six hundred thousand dollars on multifamily. Uh, all across the entire metro. And so it's been a couple of weeks since I've been on this. However, um, I did want to talk a little bit about what we have seen here right now. And you can see we've got two new properties listings in the last couple of weeks. Uh, the top one actually already says it is under contract. So this is a, a nice six unit apartment complex located off of Home Street. And I am very familiar with this area. We've sold, I don't know, 100 units or so in and around Hospital Hill area. So I'm not surprised it's under contract so quickly. Uh, six units for 190, about $115,000 per unit, uh, which is a fair on market price. Uh, excellent location next to the hospital. So I'm not surprised if that is, in fact, uh, the case. I have no reason to believe why it would not be. So uh, that's pretty cool. I wanted to show that to you within the last two weeks. It's also already under contract. So keep in mind, the market gets pretty hot at different times of the year. And here we are in the early part of June and rocking and rolling. So uh, just zooming all the way back out, our only two new properties here coming to market recently is the one I just mentioned right next to Children's Mercy Research Tower. The other one is, in fact, my listing here with Exchange Commercial Real Estate off of Broadway. Uh, I'll zoom in a little bit here. You can check out all the details on the listing. Happy to please reach out to me. I can give you the ins and outs of everything about this, but I will zoom in and talk briefly about it. So we've got Penn Valley Community College right here, Metropolitan Community College. This right here is actually 42 units, uh, all studios, but they're large studios next to Broadway, which is very, very, very frequented. Uh, it's a very thorough uh, a big thoroughfare through the uh, between Midtown and Downtown and the Plaza and Brookside and Waldo and everything going on here. And oh, by the way, the streetcar stop is right here. So that's three or four blocks away or three large blocks away. Uh, high value. You can see it's only, let's click on it just to make sure you get my math correctly. It's only $76,000 per unit. Um, so take a look at this deal. A lot of opportunity, easily get to an 8.3% or so cap rate, 90% uh, plus occupied right now. So let's talk about that one together and uh, get that one sold, get that one bought before somebody else does, uh, because it is going to have even more value moving forward as a streetcar is completed. Okay, so that's everything on the LoopNet world. Um, not a lot new going on. One already con under contract already. Another one, my listing. Looking forward to hearing from you. Okay. So let's hop on over now to uh, Zillow. Typically a little bit lower priced uh, properties than LoopNet. This is powered by the local MLS, which covers the entire um, Kansas City metro. And so from a multifamily standpoint, we've got a couple new properties. We've got this one here, Timber Creek Lane in Liberty. Uh, fourplex, single stall garage, 660, fair price. If you're into fourplexes, uh, this actually could be a good opportunity to take down and get um, and, and nab for your long-term portfolio because Liberty is an amazing market, class A, great schools, et cetera, okay? Uh, the next deal on the list is actually here on 20th and Summit which is, um, I believe it's just, yeah, it's in West Side, just west of 35 here, very expensive area, West Side. It's got great views of downtown, a lot of those buildings. Um, so that's likely why you're seeing that kind of price point in the urban core. I've sold fourplexes here for, well, close to here for as much as $400,000 per unit. So keep that in mind, there could be some pretty good value within this property if you run the numbers correctly. Uh, if you love downtown, great opportunity. Okay, we'll pop back out. We've already talked about uh, this property here via LoopNet. This property here, the $600,000 uh, 
Uh, it's likely a, a duplex or similar. It's right next to the Country Club Plaza. And you guys are familiar with the Country Club Plaza because I have listings there often. In fact, our uh, 10 units just went under contract today. So, uh, and this is uh, two blocks away from that, maybe. So this looks to be a duplex that is unique. It's got what I would call Victorian uh, styling within that European Victorian styling. Uh, looks to be, you know, redone at some point recently. Probably a former Airbnb house. Um, got some extra parking over here. So it's very high price, but again, you guys have to understand this location is next to the Country Club Plaza, which is uh, an outdoor mall, one of the first, I think it's actually the first mall of its kind in the United States. So a lot of history in and around this area, very popular. I love the area. All right, so let's pull back out, make sure we cover all the new stuff we've got going on here. Uh, there's a few, this is brand new construction here in Overland Park. I'm not going to talk too much about that because it is brand new construction, class A. Uh, cash flow is going to be tough unless you're probably bringing 50% down or so. Um, but happy to track it down if that's what you're into because I actually like the product. It's just harder to make cash flow on high leverage situations. So that's something to consider there as well. And then as far as what else we've got going on, this is another uh, smaller property duplex in um, uh, Southwest Boulevard here. Uh, very unique property, looks cool. Typical urban core, very eclectic type of property. Um, and it's close to KU Med. So there's a lot of interesting aspects of this, quite large, uh, good for owner occupied type of investment purposes. And then, of course, the remaining property on here is the one I already talked to you about, which we featured on LoopNet a few seconds ago. Again, you need to take a look at this. All 42 units in these three different buildings. Uh, we've got some great drone video footage in here. Uh, really just take somebody to take this to the next level, maybe put $15,000 per unit back into it, and you would have a dang near Class A property next to the streetcar extension. So... Um, just want to leave you with that. Again, this is Alex Olson with Exchange Commercial Real Estate as part of the Multifamily Minute, where we want to hear about your 1031 exchange or you being aggressive in the Kansas City market. Look forward to hearing from you. If you got any questions, please reach out and we will talk to you soon.